Chef Bill. Tim Farmer, how are Wait you? Wait a minute. This is different. <laughs> you know, you're over here. Yeah. You yeah. got the best restaurant in town. Now you have the best restaurant in town. How do you do that? How do you have two best restaurants in town? <laughs> well, we thought we needed to bring pizza to Stanford, Kentucky. How, what was the inspiration for all this? I know, I know Angela, she's written books about, you know, we've gone to her place, and I'm looking around and I see some kind of familiar themes here. Great. Well, you know, um, my partner, Angela Carell, wrote a book, and uh, in that book is a character named Mama DeVecchio. Right. Mama DeVecchio was passionate about hospitality and about having dinner parties and serving people and having people into her house. And uh, you know us, we're all about hospitality and serving people, and we wanted to bring that, the essence of that to Stanford in the form of pizza. And, and we did that with really Tuscan design notes, like, like this pizza oven behind us. This is a 6,000 pound oven. So that's a stone hearth oven. We cook on that. We make our own bread here. Uh, and in keeping with what I know you know, um, we like to be all natural. So yeah. we partner with Marksbury Farms, locally farm-raised meats, no growth hormone, no steroid, no antibiotic, grass-fed, grass-finished, all that good stuff. We brought that to pizza as well. So all of our meats are locally raised, and then wow. the bread is made here, uh, no GMO and uh, organic. Wow. 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 So we're sitting here talking. I'm having trouble because I haven't eaten today. I have not eaten today. Nice. So we can talk a little while, but then I got to I just bail out and eat. Absolutely. We're, we'll be happy to feed you. You know what? This is a major undertaking to even set something like this up. I mean, so you reach temperatures. It looks like, what, does it stay at around 600, uh, 500? I'm so? actually about 60 degrees hotter than it reads on that top temperature. So right now I'm about 610 degrees. We do that so that... Yes, and short answer, yes. Right. But we do that so that we can get your pizza out in about five minutes from when we throw it in. Wow. So we're pretty hot. So this is an old, old concept, but to bring a, a taste of Tuscany in here, it's just absolutely wonderful, and I can't wait to try it. That being said, let's talk about Stanford itself. Sure. There's not too many places you can go. Yeah, it's heartbreaking to go to some of the old towns that I used to live in, and then their downtown is done. Right. You walk in, and every, you know, every other shop is done, dilapidated, these beautiful buildings. What has kept Stanford going? I mean, you drive down Main Street and it's vibrant. And it's it is alive. vibrant. It, it's really um, historic preservation, mostly funded by, you know, a want to give back to the community. They want to preserve it for the community, but also for the sake of beauty for beauty's sake. I mean, right. it's, and it, it becomes a, not only a gift to the community, but a way to serve the people of the community. Well, it's a beautiful little town. There's places to stay. This is this is a good foodie road trip. You can stop and stay at the little there's cabins. Sure. There's there's also a motel downtown. Mm -hmm. All on the main street area, all right around this area. They can have a couple different dinners, chill out here. A lot of stuff to do around here. Right. Wilderness Road, um, the oldest functioning main street in the country. In the second oldest county in Kentucky, Lincoln County. So we have guest houses ourselves in our partner companies called Wilderness Road Guest Houses. We've got uh, boutique soap store where we make our own cosmetics with locally raised goats and goat's milk and we've got two places where you can eat natural foods. Okay. Yeah, as you look around, tell us a little bit about the building, what you, what you can expect to see. I mean, look at the brickwork out here. Yeah, we really tried to bring Tuscany to Kentucky. And one word that we use internally, not so much externally, but I'll throw it out there, Kentuscany. I like it. So we're, we're Kentucky raised animals with a Tuscan bread recipe. We're a Kentucky building that, I don't know, 190 years old, that we brought uh, design notes from Tuscany, these exposed rafters. Um, those are old floor joists that we took up to give it that feel of ex exposed rafters. The hallway has been built like an Italian street. So you've got these curved archways and these wall sconces. And then when you look through the windows, you see Tuscan countryside. And so um, that white marble, very Italian. This oven, very Italian. And so when people ask, you know, hey, do you have buffalo chicken and do you have ranch? The answer is no. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to provide Kentuscany, if you will. A little bit of Kentucky, a little bit of Tuscany, and, and wrap it in this sustainable agriculture and, and healthier foods. Now, speaking of food, the interview's over. Can we eat? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to pile around one of these pieces. Thank you so much. We Thank you, Tim. It.